Hello everybody and welcome to the fifth episode of the Skyrim Mods series. We'll kick right off with the first mod, which you can hear in a second. So this mod is made by EN3 Raider. It is a menu music replacer and the music itself is played by Jason Yang. Jason Yang is a talented musician and he has the haircut of a Final Fantasy character and I thought this is just a nice change especially if you want to change around the, the intro music because you'll hear it anytime you start up the game obviously. The second mod of the day is the Old Dwarven Katana by Roddy Magnum. Roddy Magnum also brought us RK's hand, the two-handed axe, from a few episodes ago. And one of the things that's really cool about Ronnie's mods is that the weapons are truly unique. They are implemented in a location in Skyrim and the only way for you to get them is go to that location instead of crafting them. That's a really neat feature. This sword is located in Deep Folk Crossing, as you can see here. And I'm not really sure if it is an existing location, I don't think it is. Both the location and the sword are very well made. The design of the blade is simple yet effective. The sword is not as detailed I think as RK's hand was, but it is plain and simple, a dwarven katana, and there are not many of those. Most of the katanas in game are really fancy with gems and shiny blades and all that but Ronnie Magnum's Dwarven Katana is plain, simple, edgy and it still feels like a katana. Thumbs up for this author. And katanas don't need to be shiny, as this katana proves all it needs to do is chop someone's head off. Like always, I'd like to thank you for watching. Please endorse if you like the mod. Please subscribe if you like the channel and like the video if you like the video. See you next time and have fun gaming.